guys, I'm Layla. We are playing some Raid Shadow Legends. And guess what? We are going to be pulling some shards today. Now, the reason why we're pulling shards is going to be to be getting the fragments for Jerem Bomb primarily is what it is, but also because we're going to be pulling for Epsilon. Now, Previously for Epsilon, we had pulled all kinds of just stuff for him. He was doing the, the deck of fate for Freya, which he ended up getting her, by the way, by basically champ trading everything he had. So he's he's like maxed out. He's got like nothing left, which is why we're going to be pulling today to kind of reload for him. So he's got plenty of champs to do champ training for to get the fragments for Jerobom. With that being said, he said I could pull all of his ancients, so 101 ancients and 11 sacreds. We're going to be pulling all of that. And it happens to be a progressive event, as you see here. So primarily, he's after Hefrak. And then he does have Magnar and then Geomancer here as the epic. Now, I'm still not sure why. However, it's probably because Epsi has a very good heart and believes in the underdog. Because Epsi brought in Mac to pull the shards. So with that, I'm curious if you guys want to pause the video quickly, drop a comment down below on how many Legos you think we're going to get, if we're going to get any, and if we're going to get Hefrak, one way or another. Epsi's just happy to be able to get food and champ training stuff. So here we go, Epsi, good luck. And I mean, oh, you know what? There is also the, um, there's another event going on to get a soul for Jerobom too, I think, right? So I guess, again, not a bad idea to pull, especially if you're trying to reload. Food! I know, Epsi's like, thank goodness, we're getting food! <laughs> under the dog or under the crust if Mac fails, even into a pie. <laughs> Poor Mac. I mean, look at all the coins we're getting, though. And we're completing quests. I mean, that that's a thing. Guys, drop me some comments down below too. You know, are you pulling during this? Are you saving all of your shards? Are you maxed out? Oh, look at that. We have a times 20 chance to get Magnar now because we keep getting all of these other epics. I'd love to know what you guys are doing. Hey, there's Magnar. Good job, Mac. You got us the, uh, the selected epic. Now, if we could see some gold, that would be cool. Please, thank you. For all these shards we are pulling. Well, it looks like a lot of food for Magnar. Oh my. Okay. Oh boy. No, no gold yet. And that is Sandlash Survivor. Tomo. And we are getting a good amount of hero coins, too. Are you guys doing that event as well? I know there's been so much stuff going on. So I know the majority of people are kind of getting, like, tapped out on stuff. So they're trying to save some resources. That's much we just had CVC this week, too. Even though it was a personal rewards, we just had CVC as well. Okay. All right, I think we have one. We have Una Mas. One more. Go. And that is War Maiden. Okay, so for the Ancient Shards, we did get a bunch of epics. We did get the Magnar. Now we have 11. We got 11 Sacreds. Epsi, good luck. Mac, don't fail us. Lego! And that Lego is Gurptuck Moss Beard. It's a weird looking half rack, if you ask me. He's looking a bit like Gul'dan from World of Warcraft. However, that, that's gold. <laughs> I'm not sure how we feel about this gold, but it is gold nonetheless. Okay, Mac. We got 10 more chances here. Okay, Epsi thinks this is a third Gurp Tuck. All right. For the soul. <laughs> uh, do you have any WoW fans here? I do love my World of Warcraft. Hey, Zorgala is bay. Now we had an extra summon chance for Geomancer. Geomancer is definitely one of those champs that having multiple of is good. Oh, Doom Priest. We like Doom Priest. I know. A third Gurp Tuck. Not sure how I feel about that. Mac? All right, guys. We got six left. Hey, it's Dude. 
Dude of the Runic. Okay. Five to go. I do see much people saying that they're not pulling shards. They're going to save. I actually, I you know, I like Renan. This makes me think that, not sponsored by the way, but Vox Machina Season 3 is on Prime right now. So I binged the three episodes last week. I still got to watch the three episodes this week. But she always reminds me of Keyleth from Vox Machina. All right, four to go. Okay. Oh, nice. Epsis is going to be able to empower her. That's exciting. I really like her too. She's the reviver in my Sylvan. All right. One last sacred shard to go. Mac? Mac, what do you got for us? And Mac has... <laughs> Mac's got Seneschal. Okay, so we did get you one Lego. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Wow. All right, let's see how we did... Hero's Path, you have 80,000 coins. So I'm curious how far that's going to get you here. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, that's exciting, Epsi. Okay, so you got 80,000 coins there. And then let's see how we did over here. Oh, wait, there's no pulling event. Oh, for some reason I was thinking that there was, but I guess there isn't. Okay. So in that case... You're going to be using pretty much all this food and all the stuff I just pulled for you for this. Because we have... Yes, yeah, so there's going to be 10 fragments here. And then am I seeing this correctly? Are there are these fragments here too? So 5, 10, 15. Is that 20 fragments here? Am I reading that correctly? So depending on how much this gets you, that could be 30... 30 fragments? And how are you doing on your fragment summon here? Oh, not bad. So then all you would have to do is maybe finish Arena or something, Epsi. So it looks like that could be good if I'm reading that correctly. So not bad at all. So even though we only end up getting one Lego, points-wise, looks like you could have enough for all of that. Then really just have to finish like one event like Arena, which Arena should be super easy. So let's see, Faction Guardians. Oh, yeah, that's a third Gurp Tuck. That's the only Lego you got tuned. Of course you have to have three of them. Hmm. Okay. Well, Epsi, thank you so much for letting me pull. Guys, drop me some comments down below on how you are doing during this. If you're pulling, if you're passing. Like I said, I know that a lot of people feel like they're kind of just like worn out from all the stuff that's going on. I'd love to know how you guys are doing. Drop me a comment down below. And hey, thanks for watching.